Okay, welcome to the triangles lesson. We're going to be talking about Pythagorean theorem and the Pythagorean triples. And uh, especially the Pythagorean triples are going to help you save time on the SAT. So let's review the Pythagorean theorem. You have some right triangle here, and you have legs A and B and hypotenuse C. Well, you can say that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And you've probably said that many a times in high school. What does that actually mean? Well, I just wrote another triangle out over here. It means when you square a leg and you add it to the other leg squared, you get the hypotenuse squared. So let's not talk about it too much. Let me see if you can do a problem. Do you know how to use Pythagorean theorem? Okay. So let's say I gave you this triangle right here, and it's got to be a right triangle. And I told you that we have legs of radical 4 and radical 5 and hypotenuse C. Would you be able to find the hypotenuse? And you can pause the video if you want right now to give it a try. I'm going to go into the explanation. So how are you going to set this up? You should have radical 4 squared plus radical 5 squared equals C squared. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Okay, so radical 4 squared, you just get 4 back. Radical 5 squared, you just get 5 back. So you get 9 equals C squared. How do you get rid of something squared? You take the radical, you got to do it to both sides, so you get 3 is equal to C. Okay, that's kind of a simple one, I'm just making sure you know how to use Pythagorean theorem. All right, when can you avoid using Pythagorean theorem? Every once in a while on the SAT, the Pythagorean triples show up, and you probably know one of them really well. That's the 3, 4, 5, and all that means when you have legs of 3 and 4 by default, this has to be 5. So that's the 3, 4, 5. The other one that you should be aware of is the 5, 12. When you have legs of 5 and 12, this has to be 13. So that is the 5, 12, 13. And what's nice is once you know the 3, 4, 5, you really know all the multiples. You know other Pythagorean triples. So you can double everything. So then you know the 6, 8, 10, if you triple the 3, 4, 5, you get the 9, 12, 15. So you know a bunch of them. And the same thing with 5, 12, 13. If you know the 5, 12, 13, you also know the 10, 24, 26. So two really good ones to memorize. Let's see if there's a problem where we can avoid doing Pythagorean theorem and recognize the triples. So here's an example. Something that's an SAT-like question. All right, so it says, if square BCDE has an area of 144 and triangle ABE has an area of 30, what is the length of AB? Now, let me just move this over a little bit just to make some space. Okay, first thing, they tell us it's a square, right? So we have square uh, BCDE. And the square, I'll write it here, the area of the square is 144. Well, that just means that a side times a side gives us 144. Now we can call them both x here. I'm kind of doing a little more than we have to, but we can say x squared equals 144, right? A side times a side gives us 144. So what does that side have to be? <clears throat> you can use a calculator, but if it's, you know, you might know that 12 times 12 gives you 144. So x equals 12. So that means each of these sides is 12, and I'll write that in. Okay. So now we've found that each of these sides is 12. And it tells us that the area, and I'll write this here, the area of the triangle is 30. Well, that, we have one side, we have the height of the triangle, right? What are we missing? We're missing the base. And what is our area of a triangle? Area equals 1 half base times height. So let's plug in what we know. We know the area is 30. 1 half. We don't have the base, but we do have the height, because we found that out from before. So the height is 12. So our equation is going to be 30 equals a half times 12, 6 times b, or 6b. Divide both sides by 6, divide both sides by 6, and we get b is equal to 5. We'll plug that right in there. Now, I have one leg that's 5, one leg that's 12. They should be looking very, very familiar, because I just did it. 
What did we say? I'll move it down real quick. Oh my God, it's a 5, 12, 13. Look at that. So here is a situation where you do not have to do Pythagorean theorem. All you have to do, fill in that that's 13. Okay? So we found that the length of AB is 13. Let's do another one. Just give me a second here to set up the page. So in our second example, uh, it's a little more difficult because now we're dealing completely with variables. So we have a right triangle here, and they tell us one of the legs is y, the other leg is y plus 2, and the hypotenuse is y plus 4. How are we going to solve this one? And again, you can pause the video. I'm going to go into the explanation. So you're going to set it up just like any other right triangle. You're going to pop into the formula. So I'll write it, I'll write it again. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that's going to look like y squared plus y plus 2 squared equals y plus 4 squared. So unfortunately, we've got to do some foiling now. So y squared plus y plus 2 times y plus 2 equals y plus 4 times y plus 4. Okay, we're going to get y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals y squared plus 8y plus 16. We can start minusing things. Minus the, and I'll, I'll do everything in one shot just to save time. So I'll minus the y squared. I'll minus the 8y. And I'll minus the 16, just to save time. So all that crosses out y squared minus y squared crosses out 4y minus 8y minus 4y 4 minus 16 minus 12 and we've got this y squared from before so I'll bring it down and that whole thing equals 0 okay now we got a reverse foil to figure out what the heck y equals so you do your double bubble I made the second one a little small but that's alright always put your y's in first now how can we get negative 12? Well, I'm going to venture and say we can, let's try 6 and 2. Is it going to be minus 6 or plus 6? Well, it's going to be minus 6 because this middle term is a negative 4. So it's going to be minus 6 and plus 2. And you can check that just to make sure it works, and I promise you it works. So y is going to be equal to 6 <clears throat> or negative 2. Now we can't have a length that's negative 2, right? So y has to equal 6. And you know what's kind of funny about that? If we plug that in, what kind of triangle do we have? We actually ended up having a 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 6 plus 4, 10. We ended up with a 6, 8, 10, which is a multiple of the 3, 4, 5. So there was another way to do this one. I kind of took you through the long way. <clears throat> if you recognize that in the beginning, that's great. But this is the point of that was that hopefully show you you can solve problems like this using Pythagorean theorem and doing it algebraically or if you recognize that this could have been a 6, 8, 10. A little tougher to recognize though because we are dealing with all variables. Alright, so I hope this lesson helped you guys out. Uh, definitely check out some of my other triangle lessons. I'll see you there.